In search of a financial opportunity to pay off student loans, a young black American woman moves to South Korea to work. As the author, Bootsy W. recalls culture shock and fun adventures in a country far from home. She's also faced with anti-black racism and featureism, quickly learning that white supremacy is practiced not only by whites, but by those that are categorized as people of color. Based on her 10 years of living abroad, the book, Ego Igo, compares and contrasts Korea versus the United States on subjects such as code, communal living, racism, effective protests, global alliances, warrior class, music, political correctness, health, aging, money, and the coronavirus. This blunt memoir is uncomfortable, humorous, and educational. Help fight propaganda and mainstream agendas by picking up a copy of Ego I Go on Amazon.com. Well, I'm sure by now many of you have seen um, the video with the Jonathan Pentland guy, the uh, Army, you know, I think he's a sergeant, and he ended up going up to a young brother in his own neighborhood and started just straight bullying him. Um, that video infuriated me because I never like when somebody try to pick on somebody. Number one, is not trying to fight you. Number two, y'all yeah, guess he think he's a big man by picking on a little small dude like that. Like you go, you don't get no respect for that. You don't get no brownie points for picking on somebody small. But I told y'all these white supremacists, they cowards. That's what they do. He has sized him up. So that's why he went over there and done that. Now, if you have not seen that video, we'll show the clip, but also what happened. I'm going to show this clip as well that he got what he wanted. He got a response from the black community and the black community went out to see him. And I want you to see, you know, those videos as well. Let's go ahead and roll that clip. Go away right now. Call the police. Hey, they've already been called. They're just I'm waiting. Fight for who? You Let's know go. what, maybe you should hang on a little longer. We'll Let's see go. how it goes. Then we won't have to get the report by ourselves. What is it you're doing here? Walking. Then, then walk. walk. Okay, that's what I was doing. Well, you've been here like 15 minutes now. Let's go. Walk away. Keep walking. Walk away. Walk away right now. You need help? You got this one, Kenny. I'm happy to help you. I didn't hit you. There's a difference between pushing you. You're aggressive on the neighborhood. Someone came running. You better walk away. You walk away. You you're talking to my wife right now. That's your wife? Walk yeah. away. I didn't do walk that. away. Check it out. You either walk away or I'm going to carry your ass out of here. Do the, you touch what do you want to do? You better not touch me. Mm -hmm. Or I'm what? What are you going to do? You up on me. Let's go. You walk away. Oh. I didn't do anything to you. I'm anything. about to do something to you. You better I start walking. I didn't do anything to her. You better start walking so right now. You come after me like that? I ain't coming after you. You're in the wrong neighborhood, motherfucker. Get out. Get out. Where? Where's your house? What's your address? Maybe we should walk you home. Walk me home? Oh, you bet. You want to bet what I can do? I live here, sir. Okay, right now you're address? harassing the neighborhood. I'm not harassing anyone walking through the neighborhood I live in, sir. Where? <laughs> but check, check it out. We are a tight knit community. Okay. We How take care of each other. A hell of a lot longer than your ass, because I have never seen you before in my How life. How long have you been living here? That's Why does that even matter to you? How long have you been living? It doesn't matter. You know what? Get the hell out of my face. Get out of my face. You walked up to me. Check it out, motherfucker. I ain't playing with you. You either get your ass moving or I'm gonna move you. You smell drunk. You wanna bet? You are drunk. I'm about suggest. to show you what I can do. I would suggest that you better walk away. Walk away. Walk away. I'm walking. You keep following me, sir. There's only one way out of here. And it's right over there. There's multiple ways out of here, sir. You want to bet? Walk away. I've been here before. This whole subdivision. Yeah, there. I know. Obviously, you've been harassing us for a while now. Nobody knows you, sir. I don't even know your name. Well, get to know me because this is who I am. Who are you? It doesn't matter. What's your name? You no, walk here, away. But get out of here. Of the law? I'm about to throw you out. You can't. You want a belt? I can do a hell of a lot more than you think I can. Just move along. Sir, you're acting like a child. Move on. Come on. You picked a fight with some random young lady that's one of our neighbors. Get out of here. Then why? Nobody picked a fight with someone random. All I heard was you fighting and her defending herself. Fighting what? Hey, come on. What's your name? Come on, you don't want no trouble. On this earth.
assault and battery in the third degree. Um, and they say it, it carries a maximum sentence of up to 30 days in the county jail and a $500 fine. But this is the interesting thing. Now you saw that energy that he had pushing on that young brother. But when, when the family showed up to holler at him, he didn't want to come outside at all. He stayed in his house. I mean, wh why you didn't go run them all out of the neighborhood? Why you go push them? You gonna say what I'm saying? Now the one brother say he ain't there to be screaming and protesting. He say he he there to be kicking butt when it comes to a racist. I start laughing about it. I think it's funny because people getting tired, man. Black folks getting tired. See, black folks are showing up now. They're showing up to your house. So when you do when you go and pick on one black person, and that's how it needs to be. You pick on one, you get a response from all. That's how it needs to be, and that's how black folks are gonna get respect. That if I mess with one, I'm going to get a response of a whole bunch of black folks showing up at my front doorstep. Telling you, come outside, let's have a conversation. Not like they were saying in the video. He didn't want to come out there having a conversation with black folks when they show up. Now, this coward, and he's definitely a coward, decided to leave his house. Get escorted out of his house by the police. Because he's scared. Overnight, a protest breaking out at the home of a Fort Jackson soldier who was caught on video harassing and assaulting a black man walking in his South Carolina neighborhood. Angry community members surrounded the home of Jonathan Pentland in a peaceful protest, but it's reported the protest did become violent as the night wore on. Jonathan Pentland was charged with assault and battery in the third degree after a confrontation in Columbia, South Carolina turned physical. A video of the assault began circulating on social media on Monday where Pentland is seen confronting the victim on the sidewalk and instructing him to move away, pushing him after he refuses. It has been confirmed that Pentland is actively serving in the U.S. Army and is assigned to Fort Jackson. His commanding general has been briefed in this incident and they are fully cooperating with law enforcement. What you so scared for, Jonathan? You keep that same energy. Well, why didn't he come outside? I mean, you decided to go out there and pick on You see, you didn't expect that the community will come to your house. Just like with that cop that killed Dante Wright, the brothers and sisters showed up to her house as well. And that was ridiculous because I've seen the video where the police was putting up fencing and barricades at her house. That's, that's very interesting. They're doing that. They are, I've never seen them do that for nobody before, but see when brothers and sisters are not pulling up to your house, and let you know it's not going to be tolerated. We go into where you sleep, it get real, real quick. And they're not used to that. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a good thing that the brothers and sisters are going to your house now. They going. They find out where you at. They coming to see you. See, America's changing, folks. It's changing very fast. Let me tell you something. You know, I listen to all. Uh, media because I got to keep on top of what's going on and on the right wing, they freak it out. They freaking out about the demographics changing real quick. They freaking out the tactics black folks are starting to use, you know, pulling up at houses now, not being afraid to do so. Cause you know, at one point in time, black folks, I ain't going over there. I don't, I ain't going to not now brothers. and sisters say, don't forget that we were pulling up at your house. We're going to see you. We're going to ask you come outside and say, what's up? You know, they're not used to those tactics by black people. Black folks are getting tired. There's going to be a whole lot of things that black folks is, is going to do. You'll keep doing these things because 
you know, it doesn't make sense to go out there and just harass that young man. He wasn't doing you anything. And he wouldn't, he wouldn't have done that if there was a brother his size or bigger because he would got slapped in his mouth. That's what should have happened. Wish that little young man knew, knew uh, some martial arts or something, you know, and, and handled him and, and gave, him, gave him more than what he thought. Because just because a guy is that size don't mean he can't put you on your back now. I've met many guys about that size that they can fight very well. But, yeah, he's a coward, ladies and gentlemen. He's running. He's scared. He's scared of y'all because he didn't want to keep that same energy with, with the family like he kept with that one individual, you know, black man. But leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the situation with this coward. And they, they need to court-martial him out of the military, too. He don't belong in no military. But see, that's the kind of white supremacist right there that a lot of brothers and sisters talk about in the military. Right, Him. He's in the military with black folks. You know, good will, he acts the same way. Not maybe put his hands on them, but he still do a lot of racist things to black folks, like to harm them, to hurt their uh, position, etc. Thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out the African Diaspora News Channel app in the Google Play and Apple App Store.